All right, guys, here in the top right-hand corner of the map, Taldrum Ultra, we have our Teal Protoss player from the team Alternate Attacks is Zaka. And his opponent down here in the bottom right-hand corner of the map, as DBS leaves, it is Gosu Kingdom. That's right, so PvP, obviously this map screams four gate because there is no ramp between the natural and the main, so uh, force fields obviously are useless. And anything you do that is not a four gate tends to be a little bit riskier. So I'm sure that's what Zaka is thinking of going into this. I mean, it's uh, it's inevitable when you're playing a PVP and your opponent picks this map. You kind of have that thought, right? Yeah, very much so. Yeah. Well, we'll see here as uh, yeah, I mean those even grounding the even ground ramp, if you want to even call it a ramp, I suppose, more mm -hmm. like a road in between the natural and the main. It's very easy to pull off those quick gateway attacks, but we'll see if uh, Kingdom had something else in mind when he yep. chose this. You know, last night, yeah, I got my first mosquito bite of the summer. Oh, I know. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not happy about that. It was kind. I know it's kind of random for me to say that, but it like itched for a moment. I'm like, oh, that's right. Those things are spawning again. Great, wonderful. So. We've got that to look forward to for a couple months now. You know, I've got to say, though, having having been through a summer now in the Bay Area, uh -huh. of course, I grew up in swampy St. Louis, Missouri. We had incredibly point. high humidity and heat during the summer, and bugs were terrible there. When I move out here, I've had one bug in my house, and I think he just That's wanted to come bad. up and say hello and just remind me that they existed because uh, I've, I've noticed that bugs just don't exist out here. That sounds good to me, man. I'm, I'm from Minnesota, and the mosquitoes there, oh, yeah. like, literally used to carry off woolly mammoths back yeah. in the Ice Age. That's that's actually how big they get. Some so, impressive mosquitoes. Yeah, man. So uh, they're scary there. We'll have to see how scary they are here. I'm yeah. not convinced I should be worried quite yet, but the fact that I got bit, man, doesn't make me too excited. <laughs> Zaka's used a lot of Chrono Boost uh, on probes once you get that uh, earlier. Uh, advantage in economy and his opponent on the other hand kingdom is saving up quite a bit of that he'll actually have enough for uh, three chrono boosts when the cybernetic score does finish yes he will so we could very well see a four gate from our red terran player he is throwing down a gas right now but keep in mind a lot of players will just do that to kind of throw their opponents off we'll see could decide to go for something else but uh you could just decide to not mine from it as well and here we go. Cybernetic score is finishing up for both players. We've got Warp Gate Research on the way as well. And uh, Kingdom actually doing something that his teammates have been doing, which was Chrono boosting out that Stalker along with the Warp Gate technology. It's what we saw in yep. Wongson. Zaka, though, he's not changing a thing. Three Stalker build, and I would not be shocked at all to see him go to a Twilight Council and a uh, Blink Stalker build right after that. Yeah, or Twilight Council and Dark Shrine. I mean, or maybe Twilight Council and Templar. Who knows? Maybe even that in TVT. Go charge on Archon. I mean, it seems like he likes to get that type of start, you know, to his PvP builds and then kind of go from there. So I'm curious to see what he decides to do here with that. All right. Well, Kingdom going to poke out with a Stalker now. Already has control of the Zelnaka Tower with one of those Zealots and a pro buried up mm. at the top. We'll see if that's going to be a delayed scout. Suspicious. It is a suspicious He is mining pro. from both gases, so it's not going to be a four gate most likely, but it is about that time to throw down some tech. Yeah, we'll see what that tech is going to be. And Zaka, though, he's just uh -oh. going right after two more gateways. So he is going to four gate. Of course, this will be a little bit higher tech variety, more stalkers, uh, even uh, a couple of sentries in there as well. Looking for forward pylons with those stalkers. Now, here's the thing. This could be Kingdom's plan as well. You pick him up like Teldrim and then expect them to four gate and then just kind of concentrate on defending it. He's got three gates right now, right? So that, of course, for those of you who, like me, are not very good at math, is one less gate than what Zaka has. That's true. Yeah, but Valuable if point. Uh, it is, it's hard, but it is possible to hold off a four gate with three gates. He's going for blink as well, so that'll help him micro two if it gets to that point in the game. But if he holds it off, Zaka's just going to lose. You know, this is an all in. Well, we'll see what, uh, how aggressive Zaka wants to be. Although, He's not started those forward warpins quite yet. Oh, taking a little bit of damage from Kingdom's own units there. Yep. He's going to have to back up. At the same time, Kingdom throwing down a forward pylon. So uh, maybe he wants to throw down a couple of backdoor units when Zaka does his damage. And look at uh, that, Kingdom with a beautiful scout. He's all four warping. Nice. Games. Yep, he will know exactly what he's up against now. Here's the thing, though. What's the worker count right now for Zaka? Because he does have two gas along with this, too. And he's, okay, stopped the 22 probes. So slightly higher worker count for gate he does want the ability to continuously warp in stalkers um of course if you go for the one gas version you'll end up kind of running out of gas really quickly and then having to go zealot and stalker but 
I believe if you do it this way, you can just pretty much stay on Stalkers, and he is going to add a Twilight Council on now, it looks like as well. Yeah, so he'll eventually be able to move into Blink at the same time, but of course, uh, Kingdom already has it on the way, furiously chrono boosting it out, so he makes sure he has that when the eventual attack comes. We're yep. looking at 12 Stalkers versus 5 Stalkers, oh, just one Zealot and two Sentries, so it's really going to come down to control. Does Kingdom oh. have what it takes? Oh, bites on a couple of force fields. Oh, Zaka going to make his way around the side. Yeah, he could maybe trap a few Stalkers with this, but Zaka doing a good job of baiting out those initial force fields from Kingdom. Yeah. He's going to really need every single one if he wants to survive this. But the thing that uh, Zaka doesn't realize is that when Blink finishes, Kingdom is actually going to have an easier time defending this. He just needs to, to survive until it happens. Basically, as that uh, Blink is only about 15 seconds away from finishing, and Zaka going to run around the side with one of those stalkers, of course. Uh, Kingdom can peel back with one of his own and kind of slowly start taking advantage of that. So uh, Zaka and... has his own Blink uh, research coming up right now. Zelda gets forward, and that does allow... Uh, Kingdom to pick off one of those stalkers still has a little bit of no actually uh, not enough for a force field He has to recover all of that uh, that energy for now. Ooh, dark shrine on the way right now for Zaka as well So he's kind of realizing yeah that blink isn't gonna work out too well He did cancel that and now Kingdom can just micro really easily against us with blink yeah, and Zaka, of course, uh, that that classic problem. That's we'll talk about blink. that in a second. Yeah, that was a blink right on top of Zaka's forces. He's bringing in what he can, but it doesn't look like it's going to be enough. Nope. I do believe that Kingdom is going to be able to take this game, stop the reign of terror from Zaka. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, Zaka. He, whenever you have a situation like that where a Protons player blinks back some hurt stalkers, as we saw Kingdom do, unfortunately, mm. um, there wasn't enough health left on some of those units, so Zaka had to run forward directly into the line of fire, even of the sentries, in addition to what he had, uh, and expose himself just to be able to pick off those low stalkers. Oh, man, and Kingdom making such a good decision and throwing down the robotics facility right after he kind of held that off. He's like, all right, my opponent didn't leave the game. Yeah. What else could he possibly kill me with? He's like, oh, yeah, Dark Templar, okay. That's a question you've got to ask yeah. yourself in one base versus one How base could I PvP. Die? How, what can kill me now? Yep. Oh, speaking of killing, it looks like Kingdom is in Zaka's base right now, killing pretty much everything, yeah. depowering a lot of those gateways. The probe just kind of going to work on the Stalkers. They even get a couple kills. No, he's just going to blink that back. Yeah, and with everything depowered here, it should be okay. Observer on the way with three DTs coming into Kingdom's base. Will he be able to get those there in time? Is he going to block? He yes, is. he is. He is going to block. Unfortunately, this pylon is going to fall oh, very quickly. Man. That oh. robot facility is depowered. He has more pylons coming up along the side. Zaka just trying to hold on. He force fields out, keeps the pylon he alive, and him. that's going to allow the Observer to pop up. Oh, oh it's going to wow. be close. Oh, so it looks like the Observer will just barely finish. Yeah. And oh, man, that was close. But GG, oh. Kingdom taking down alternate Zaka.